Let's go ahead and understand this a little bit more. What are these big differences? First of all, I would say you need to get your hands on the actual manuals you're going to be using. So if you're using APA, buy APA manual. If you're using MLA, buy the manual. Here's a link to Amazon. We can see the page for Amazon for APA. You can get the ebook for just $11.95 US dollars. $11.95 is more than worth the trouble that you're going to go through by trying to check online, look here, look there. You don't know what you're reading. You don't know what's happening. If you get the book, paper or ebook, I highly recommend the ebook because it makes it great. It makes it easy to always have it at your fingertips. It's right there wherever you go. You can use it later, years later, you can use it. It's really wonderful, but the paper is just as good, of course. And the wonderful thing is they have a great index, a great table of contents, so you can find the material fast, exactly what you need. This is hard to believe, but you can find it faster than sitting there on Google, typing and going here, going there, going here. And in the end, you probably get information that's wrong because some dummy put it online. And he said, that's right. Or you're just copying what somebody else did. That proves you're not an expert at what you're doing. When I look at students work, when I look at students dissertation, lots of professors do this and they say, you didn't even get anything consistent. Even the same references are formatted differently. Not to mention you're not following the correct style you're supposed to. So why go through all that trouble? Just go ahead and get the book. PA, $12, under $12. MLA on Amazon for the ebook is just $9.99. That is more than the amount of trouble you'll be spending if you're trying to do this by Googling here and Googling there. Or basically you think you're cheating your way around by having a shortcut. The only thing you're cheating is yourself. Highly, highly recommend you get them. Okay, now let's just go back to a very basic idea, a very basic introduction. What is the difference between what we're using in this class, which is MLA and APA? And what we can look at here is, we have a few pictures here. You can see their MLA, APA, Chicago Manual. Uh, there's many style guides, not just the two we cover in this class. Although the two we cover are the most commonly used. But there are many, many style guides. So many, you can't count them all, right? And some of them are very complicated and detailed. In fact, I have here the APA manual. Here we go. I have here the APA manual and here is APA. This is an older edition. This is the fifth edition. This is the last paper one I bought. I stopped buying paper because you can see here it's huge. It's really huge. Now you say, oh, professor, that's insane. That's crazy. I don't want to have a big book like that. This is more trouble than it's worth. Well, being huge has its advantages. One of the big advantages is you go right to the back and you can use its index to find any kind of situation. How to use the period, how to use the quotation mark, how do you have two authors together, how do you have more than seven authors. You can look at right up here, page number, and it gives you a section number and you can turn right to the section number and find exactly what you need. You can find exactly what you need very easily, very quickly. Also, the book has many graphs and charts to show you exactly how to lay things out. It's really a wonderful, detailed explanation of everything you need. They even have whole examples of research papers, how the research paper is laid out in the different parts, how the citations and references go into your paper. Isn't that cool? So the book, whoa, I can't even get it together. Really cool right now. I have bought this spiral bound one, super easy to use. I can open up on my desk and do this. I bought this a few years ago, super excellent, outstanding. I cannot recommend it enough. This is the best way to do it. And yes, I'm not using the whole book, but when I need something, boom, I can find it right away. That is fantastic. You know what? There's something better than this. 
and I have been using it for the latest edition, and that is the ebook. This is my Kindle ebook reader. And you don't have to use a Kindle, you can use different kinds of ebook readers. I also have a Kobo and a, a Nook. There are many kinds you get in China and Taiwan and Japan. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And here we are. This is my APA manual. Boom, there you go. And it's this thick now instead of being so thick as before. But you know what? Everything inside there is just as detailed as the original paper book. And the great advantage of this is all of the index and all of the table of contents, contents are hyperlinked. That is, all of these lists, you can just click on them directly to find exactly what you want. And boom, you go right to it. It leads you right there and then gives you an example. You can also use a search feature, which means if you're thinking about how do I do five authors together? How do I do a, a, a publication that has two editors and then one author? How do I do it for a chapter? All of that, you can just find it right away by doing this search. That's the greatest thing ever. So, highly recommend it. I mean, look at that. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, carry this or carry this. I can carry the ebook anywhere I go. And all of this is contained inside of that ebook. Wonderful. And it's not very expensive. In fact, the ebook is way cheaper than the paper book. And you can see why, because they've got to ship a ton of paper, and especially if they're using that spiral bound, which is, you know, quite expensive. Okay, let me go back here, show you another one. Here we go. And I uh, go in here and then find my MLA. And we go. Oh, there we are. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Table of contents. Back to the first page. And here we are. MLA. This is the MLA book on my ebook. Again, super searchable, super easy to use, so convenient I can have here in my pocket anywhere I go. I can put it on my PC. I don't have to have it on an ebook reader. You can use it on your PC if you don't have an ebook reader. Way, way better than the paper. Highly, highly recommended.